welcome to Hunter Blade. It's a free MMORPG that I've become quite a fan of recently. Uh, the game is very similar to the Monster Hunter series that is all popular and very well known and stuff. And it's really, really pretty. <laughs> The graphics are sort of Final Fantasy style. I love them. They're really pretty graphics, and they can just see like Wacker with his lips ball running around the island or something. So this is like the main port of call, as it were. So this is where all the people is. There's start off. You go through a, on like a whole training procedure. There's a training island. Oops, a bit lag. Don't usually lag. Anyway, there's like a whole um, training island where it teaches you the controls and stuff, which I don't remember. <laughs> I will have to look into the controls because I know there's one to block and I don't remember how to block, which is a shame because it means I get my ass handed to me. And now that I actually have a shield as well, it's quite, it would be advantageous. Yes, the weapon system does this sword and shield combo that I currently have. There is a big giant sword option. Let's see if like, she has there. See, big giant sword. Um, or big giant, whatever the hell he's holding. Or there's a magical option where you have like a staff and you cast magical spells and stuff like that. Like she's got. Uh, yeah. I am actually a dude, would you believe? Yeah. Anyway. So, yeah, the island's all pretty and stuff. You want to run the island, you toss people. This is not lag. I am not lagging. I do. You do just run this slowly, which is a bit of a kick in the teeth, but yeah. It's alright. It's not. It helps as it were in combat situations because you don't end up accidentally running away from your enemies and stuff. It was quite cool. Uh, warehouse there, that's your storage. I don't have anything in that. Uh, random bunny over there. Don't have a clue. I am quite new to this game. I'm level 8. <coughs> but I am still quite new to the game. I don't know most of it. So the random bunny there means is I have no no idea whatsoever what the random bunny is doing. As you can see, it doesn't load everyone at once until you get so close. There's just the names over there, which obviously reduces lag a great deal. And that fire is very animated, as you can see. But there's not much you can complain about the game. The game is a small, very sort of sweet game. It's fun. Um, and simple and easy. The combat system is unique. I've not come across a game like it before. I've done run somewhere I didn't want to run, haven't I? Oh crap! That thing over. I have no idea where I am at all. I'm going back this way. I have never been here. I've never been told to come here. That was completely new to me. I was going to point out earlier that the map isn't particularly big, but apparently there's more of it. <laughs> I, I shall not comment on map size. Hello, person. Yes, I've recently done a quest that needs handing in, and I'm assuming that's what person is there for. There is two types of camera mode, which you can switch between by pressing tab. There's this one, where moving the mouse moves the camera and use WAS and these to move around, uh, which is very good for the combat systems, because you don't need to worry about moving your camera whilst you're fighting and stuff like that. Or the other one where you have your mouse. Like this one, you can click move, uh, right click and drag to turn your camera. Much like most MMORPG games I've played. This one, by the way, is definitely in my top three. For the record, my top three are all equal first. <laughs> uh, Dungeons and Dragons Online, which I did a previous video on, and Age of Conan, which is also fantastic, and I might one day do a video on just for giggles. Yeah, look at how pretty this world is. The quests are generally, uh, they give you, a, they name a beast and you have to go out and kill it. Or they name a smaller beast and you have to go out and kill a few of them. Hello, random shark. Um, so, yeah. Also, it has this fantastic feature where you can click item that you visit, Vivian, you click names and they'll go and find them for you. Which is awesome. You want antelope armor or sleeves? I'll go with the armor. I like armor. There we go. Accept. Uh, close that because I don't want to buy anything. Lovely gentle music in the background. So the village area here, this area is just lovely. 
There's a blimpy balloon thing over there. So my current mission is to talk to Bush. I have to go talk to Dake as well when I get to level 10, but I'm not there yet, so I'll bother. So let's go talk to Bush. You must be the guy at the front well. of the Skyrim box. I have a really bad habit. When I play MMORPGs, I generally do not read the things that it tells you to read. Which is a bit of a shame, because... Um, as far as I can tell, sometimes that information is actually really important. Hi. It is on this game, at least. <laughs> uh, so yeah, talk to Simon, yay! See, as I'm still quite a new character, I do have quests that just Hello. involve running around chat and chatting to people still, so we've got you, we'll accept that one. And voila! Now I've got to talk to someone else and just get the answer boots. See, I'm getting a full set of armor here, which is nice. Oh, I've got to kill something. See, see what not reading the thing does? I have to kill those in area 3 slash 4, and I've got to kill two of them. Alright, let's go kill! So much spy. So all the killing stuff, well as far as I'm aware so far, like this new area found now might be different. It involves going through this portal, here, and then it brings you to this map here, where I've currently only unlocked two places, but we've got Snowman Spy, uh, confirm. And then you, this comes up, which allows you to make teams and stuff, because for the bigger battles, quite frankly, you need other people, otherwise you're screwed. Uh, which is one of the reasons I'm making this video. So, buddies, all my friends, log on! Um, it might be worth you emailing me, actually, or messaging me, or contacting me somehow, because chances are you will not be able to download this game from the website. There is a problem with that download, but I did find somewhere else where you can download it a lot quicker and a lot simpler. So I will give you a link to that and explain how that works out if you message me. Right, a little bit of lag. Wasn't expecting the lag. It's not something that happens usually, but anyway, there we go. Lag has stopped. Talk to person. You look good. Get the free supplies. Receive all. Thank you kindly. I have no clue what half of those are. Bye. Uh, do I come and use items in the hot back below? They're alt buttons. You press alt one, alt two, etc. to use those. I'm not pressing one from such a thing. See, this is why you switch mode and you, you can remote in combat situations. Because your mouse has actually got two... You've got two attacks. Right mouse, left mouse. Like so. Um, you do have more attacks. Which... For the life of me, I can't remember. So you hit space button to dodge. Dodging is really useful and a genuine necessity in this game. Uh, other controls. What my other controls? So you've got Q to put the weapon away and get it out. Um, 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 Alright, screw it. Let's go kill stuff. Um, which area did I have to be in? Don't remember. It's areas one and two. I am looking for regular mammoths. So, them guys there. Hi guys! I'm here to kill you. Wah ha 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 ha! Etc. This video is being done in just a single take as well. Well, let's say a single take. It's been done all at once kind of thing. I'm not going to be doing jump cuts and edits and stuff like that. The only edit I'm going to do is maybe get rid of some of the loading screens. Cut the mammoth! Moving swiftly along. Hi, Mr. Mammoth. Yeah. Dead Mammoth. Oh, you're not dead. You just fallen over. No, you're dead, Mammoth. And I'm in your groin. So I had to kill... How many of those do I have to kill? Let like us know seeing. Go around, get familiar with the monsters and ecology here. Mammoths live in area 1 and 2. Antelopes live in 2 and 6. Whilst white worms live in areas 3 and 4. Oh. So the idea of this quest is not actually to kill stuff like I have been doing. <laughs> it's to go and say hi to the local people. See, there is a run button to run faster. If you hold shift, you run faster like this. But it does use your stamina, which isn't so good. And so, yeah, let's go explore. So this is area 2 of the... 
Snow Mountain Spy, simple area. So, adult mammoth, male antelope. Hello, Mr. Antelope. Since I'm here, hello, ex antelope. I'm currently doing a quest to get armor made out of you. Yeah, I am. Gutted. No, the dumb. This is area two. And this would be area four with the worms or whatever they're called. I don't know how to pronounce those, but these guys look aggressive. They appear to be running at me. Ow! I also put my I also put my helmet on. It's probably something I've done before. I wish I remembered my block button. I wish I remembered all my basic training skills and stuff. I am going to suffer. There, you're dead. Oh, I am supposed to be killing him. That's always a bonus. The fact that I'm actually meant to be killing him. Let's get you. I can use my return stone in the backpack to get back to the village. I don't want to do that yet. I've decided. I do, however, want to pick that. Oh, it's telling me I can use my... There's Alt-8 to use the return stone. I've got so much junk in my inventory right now. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm assuming you can sell that stuff, though. Oh, it's not going to stop timing. Uh, confirm. Go to the village. And we're back in the village. Yeah, for being back in the village. And then just run up and talk to people. Hey. Anyway, on this note, I shall end the video about here whilst I'm suddenly lagging for some reason. Oh, there we go. I shall end the video here. Uh, more to tell you, there's, um, there is a pet system in the game there's, that I know of. Um, there's various cool settings like 3D effects. Yep, I can change it so that polarization, the, you know, if you go cross-eyed staring at the screen it's in 3D or RG, red and green and whatever. So if you've got those like red cyan glasses, you can play the game in 3D as well, which is very cool and it's really quite effective. I've tried that and when the mammoth trampled me, I genuinely flinched. Mm -hmm. um, the graphic settings, this is currently on medium. Uh, for, on simple settings, this is the medium settings, so yeah, you can go better than this. <laughs> uh, what else, what else, what else? I don't know. Just let me know, comment, message me, whatever. If you're going to get the game, I want to play this with my friends. So get the game, play it with me. Yay! Um, well, yeah, bye!